Welcome back to Kit and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to make an eye cord using a lucid fork. So this one is made by Furls. You can get them on Amazon. There's a few different companies who make them, so you don't have to buy one from Furls. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do, you don't need a crochet hook for this. You can just put your yarn through the little hole, and you don't technically need to use the hole, but it's kind of nice. Now you're going to wrap your yarn around one hook, then up through the middle, around the other, and back and forth until you have two loops on each tine of your fork. Then you're going to take your lower loop and pull it up and over on each side. Lower loop, up and over. And then we'll tension it up a little bit just to make sure that it looks nice. My first few stitches always kind of look a little bit wonky. It's just how it is. So now to keep going we're going to go up in the middle and around the left side, and then up in the middle and around the right side. You could do it the reverse direction if you want, as long as you do it the same way every time. And then again, the bottom loop over the top, and the bottom loop over the top. And you kind of pull the string down a little bit, wiggle this a little bit. I found that if you don't tension it, then it's going to create a really wonky looking braid. So tension it up a little bit. You don't have to like really yank on it, it doesn't have to be really tight. You just want it to make nice stitches. Okay, then again, up through the middle and around the left, up through the middle and around the right. I just hold this with my fingers in the back while I'm pulling the loops over. And I don't worry about it being tight while I'm pulling the loops over because I'm just going to tension it up after they go over. Just kind of saw it back and forth a little bit. Up through the middle, up through the middle. You get in a kind of rhythm. It's kind of, I don't know, fun to do. And you'll get pretty fast after a little while. So that goes. And as you go, this is going to come down through this hole. This tail is. If you try to make an eye cord with a really thick yarn, then you won't use the, the hole here. It'll just be too difficult. You can just put the tail down the back here. It doesn't have to actually go through the hole, and it will still work just fine. Just is a little bit easier with the hole. All right, so that is my eye cord. You can see it's kind of like a four-sided braid almost. It looks pretty cool. And on this one, I tensioned it pretty well at the very beginning, so sometimes it'll be wonky at the beginning and I will just kind of unweave the first few stitches until I get to a nice part of the braid. But that is how to make an eye cord with a lucid fork. When you're done, you can just take it off. If I pull this string, it is going to unravel. So what I will do is I will cut the string and I'll make it go through this loop and then through that loop and then I'll pull it tight and tie a knot. And that will just finish it off.